Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to another edition of Why You Telling My Business? Don't be telling my business. Why not? Because I can, can, and I can, 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 I can, can, and I will. Lord have mercy. I'm like, bravo, about time. What were you waiting on? I guess in my candy Burris daughter's voice, Riley Burris, better late than never. Better late than never. Okay, girl. No apologies needed. Just exit stage left. Jenny Wynn from Salt Lake City's uh, Real Housewives. Okay? The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Goodbye. We fair, we, we bid you farewell. Goodbye. Good riddance and all of that jazz. Okay? These are the, some of the racist remarks she made. And they just weren't towards her and her culture even though she's vietnamese but she claims to be a white woman a caucasian woman and andy why did you take so long to bring her out were well, you hiding behind the the sheets honey because you know you had hired her or had her to be hired on the show and it's affecting raiders and stuff well they were climbing high now they're climbing high for negativity Okay, y'all can put it in slow-mo if you want to, but the lady Jenny Wynn is trying to come out because she's trying to save her job. Oh, oh well, thrown overboard. Your career is overboard, so go back to doing other things that you were doing before. You know, I don't know, working in a nail salon maybe? Ooh, that was a low blow, wasn't it? Okay, because we know y'all good on getting them nails together. All right, but that was just my point. I was being mean spirited, so I rejected. I refract shit. I re, uh, we call it retract that last statement I said about the uh, nail salon and stuff of that nature. But you know, it just kind of hits. It hits the wrong way when you say stupid stuff like that, and then you're supposed to hold your composure by being black, living in black skin, uh, getting degraded or demeaning any time possible less privilege you know all that kind of stuff that the minorities and the brown skin folks have to deal with on a daily basis even though they say it's not racism out there there's no discrimination none of that's going on but okay whatever we know it we feel it we live it every day okay but i was like now she look asian right but she called herself a, a white woman i was like no 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 and somebody even said in the um i think it was mary crosby that's also on that show she said some pretty bad things but i wondered were they just going tit for tat you know you hit me i hit you you say something bad and mean spirited i'm gonna say it right back at you you know like two mean girls on the show but having some of the same characteristic flaws because i think mary crosby had said something to her about she loves her slanted eyes <laughs> like okay we do not need to be infringing on somebody else's culture, somebody else's race, not in that demeanor. Okay, unless y'all were just raised together and y'all grew up together and y'all just have that type of lifestyle. Something like we get passes to Eminem. We just need hanging out with the black folks. He was raised with the black folks and stuff like that. So you can kind of sort of give a pass. But we will tread lightly on that N word, depending on how he used it. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. But anyway, uh, she's finally out. Thank the Lord. Praise Jesus. There is some good people still left on or in the world, I should say, and value morals and humanity as uh, as a whole. You know, everybody lives matter. That is true. But the most ones that get televised all the time is the black lives. They get shot down, you know, and this, that, and the third. And I'm like... I don't believe it's just all blacks on black crime. They're white on white crime. They just don't publicize it. There's Asian on Asian crime. There's Eskimo on Eskimo crime. Indian on Indian crime. They just don't like um, providing that type of publicity. But everybody got to take accountability. And it starts with you, Bravo. It starts with you. Okay, you set the tone. You set the atmosphere. You set the environment of what we're going to tolerate and what we're not going to tolerate. It's your, per your personal responsibility to weed out the bad people. Weed out the bad celebrities. I don't care. You brought her here. You see what I'm saying? Now I can see why Mary Cross said that's the slanted look. But, you know, depending on the makeup, depending on how you pierce your skin up or whatever, you, you can have Asian. Black folk can have Asian eyes. You just have to do a little bit more work to it. You know, put some Botox up there or something. But anyway, it just is what it is. But I'm glad, finally glad, Bravo took 
the responsibility, had the stability to cut this lady loose. Okay, she's breaking down the franchise and making it all look bad and slummy. You know what I'm saying? And slums can go for white folks too. Y'all have slums just like the black folk. So I always think the ghetto is strictly for the black folk. Nope. They got slums in everybody's culture and race. Don't be deceived. Just take some time. Travel some time. You'll see what I'm saying. You will see what I'm saying. Okay, you have the poor and the rich side of what you have in every culture. And that's true words. That's true facts. That's facts. What the young folk be saying out here. But as you can see, I put in here for everybody to see these 2020 posts that Jenner Wynn put out on her social media page. I think it was Instagram. I'm not really sure. Okay, I be moving kind of fast. You know, I'm, sl I'm slow and fast at the same damn time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sometimes my ashes can't keep up. My mouth can't keep up with my brain going. My brain can't keep up with my mouth saying. So, you know, hey, you might experience that early on then your 50s. But, hey, it is what it is. But this is on the outlet of people.com. This is where I'm getting my commentary from on this subject. You have TMZ out there reporting it. You have, come on, slides. Play with me. I put you in now. Page 6 is out there reporting. And several other hosts of different social media outlets are out there and posting it for the whole wide world to see. Hell, it don't went international probably. Okay? Because she probably don't upset her culture and her race as well. Like, why are you going to sit up there and say some stuff like that? You were making all that money uh, over there and, and you could have been sitting at home to your family over here. And you just showed up and showed out for the negative. You came up negative, negative. What does that make positive? Does negative, negative make positive, Shasta? Oh, she sleep, y'all. But I think negative, negative make positive in the algebra world, right? Okay, we all, it must be a plus and a negative. Make, oh, okay, I don't know. I, 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 I barely, I flunked it one time and then I barely escaped by the second time. I'm not good with them brackets and them A's and B's and C's and shit. I can't do it. If it ain't straight adding, subtracting, multiplying, divide, I can't do it, y'all. My brain won't function like that. I'm not that creative or analytical like that. Oh. But anyway, moving on. Enough about me. We talking about this trash right here. Yes, this is trash. She she's you know looking all classy, and but she's trashing. She she she's a assy out and she's trashing. Okay, but we're gonna go on what people.com is expressing about this young lady. We call well that's not well she, well old lady I guess we gonna call her we even call her season. Okay, we are gonna call her old lady. We gonna pick at her for a moment. Okay, so she got a chance to be picking at everybody or brown skin relations. You know what I'm saying? So she wants to do all that, but I shouldn't be as ugly as her. But we are gonna call her the lady. That's what we gonna do. The lady. All right, we ain't going to give her the title of her name. Because that's how, you know, upset I was when I was reading her tweets. I'm like, this woman's crazy as hell. Where did we get her from? Is she from the back ages, the dark ages or something? Did we pull her out of the 1800s? We need to send her back quick, fast, in a hurry. But anyway, going on to the article that Dory Jackson had brought out today. I think it's today. Yeah, today she posted this. She titled her article, Bravo Fires Jenny Wynn. With Real Housewives of Salt Lake City after her racially insensitive post resurfaced. I told that woman that she white. You know, we got them Karens out there. Okay, and I'm just speaking because this is what most of them been doing out there. Y'all know who I'm talking about. I ain't being racist or anything. I got white folks in my family. They married into the family, of course, but they white. So, you know, that spade is a spade. If y'all, your culture out there doing something wrong, I always say that when, you know, I'm around her. I'm like, you know, you know what you going to say about your culture? Because you know that was, that was downright foul right there. And she'd be like, yeah, you right, you right, you know. Or, you know, she'll talk about my culture in a minute. But we got it like that. We fam, all right? Seriously, we fam. And I'm sure a lot of people got white folks in their family, too. So, y'all can't really be racist or, you know, culturally uneducated. Because that person of the other race should be trying to educate you. So, you don't make these, you know, infractions. Or, or, or mistakenly um, get somebody upset with you. And thinking, you know, you're racially profiling them or whatnot. When it's, it's far from the truth. But anybody know me. They know me and my family. I'm crazy as hell. But anyway, <coughs> I speak the truth, though. But, um... Anyway, we go on. It goes. The article goes on to say, Bravo has fired Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. And I'm saying, what took you so long, Bravo? Was the revenue which what you were worried about? You thought people just gonna scapegoat, skate past it and stuff, not like have a, a opinion on what was going, what they were saying and shit. You thought that was gonna go away? No, because it showed in viewership. They're like, you still got that clown on your show? Okay, let me not watch this. But I'll pick it up later on and see how your, your ratings are doing later. Oh, it's still, uh, let me not watch this for the second week in a row. And I guess it's just the whole totality of it all. They lost 
uh, what, 200,000 subscribers or something or viewership. I don't know what it was. But Bravo, you need to stop messing with brown people. You need to stop messing with us now. Look out for our benefit. First and foremost, because we always the ones that getting, you know, dogged out. Then let's pay attention to the other races, okay? Make sure you don't offend anybody. You know, because they always coming for us, Andy. You know it. I was you and the Jews, the Jews and the blacks, and who else? The Indians. They always getting getting, getting done wrong right here now, man. The Mexicans too. Okay, we ain't gonna forget about the Latino family. So we need people to stop, you know, infringing on our rights now. We need everybody to know their role and play their role. Okay, take ownership of this mess so it can be blotted out. Cause I'm telling you, this new generation not him. They loving on everybody. They don't care what race, creed, or color. If they like you, they gonna roll with you. This ain't bad like in the 17, 18, and and, and the 20th century. No, uh, uh. They getting wise and smart. They gonna love on who they want, whenever they want, and however they want. Okay. Woo. So we all need to take personal accountability before we go out there and you know try to say I don't like this person because they this color. I don't like this person because of they. Uh, heritage. I don't like this person because they're racial. Pro you know, that, that, all of that. You know what I'm saying? We need to just get, kick that to the curb, bury it, and put a fork in it. Okay. Done. Overdid. It's gone. But anyway, going back to the article, it says um, Bravo has fired Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Newcomer Jenny Wynn after her racially insensitive post resurfaced. The network announced the news on its official Instagram page Tuesday, uh, stating that they've ceased filming with the 44 year old i'm like when did you stop when did you pick back up filming with her why wasn't she gone once you actually saw what was happening and you had a conversation with her and you were able to present this evidence to her for her to defend herself or say you know what else she wanted to say and then you'd be like well it's white and black it's, it's it's in black and white uh this is your user account name right okay and then you responded up under there right okay well i'm sorry we gotta fire you we gotta let you go we gotta edit six you do you understand that <laughs> that's what we would have been doing once it was brought to our attention but i probably just trying to play them games okay and so this is where boy boycotting over when you do stuff like this and you got proof no not what nene lisa was doing and she was trying to say she had proof and receipts and she just went south left and everywhere else okay but where it needed to be uh defending her okay but that's an, that's another whole story for another whole video okay but yes once you got the information at hand you talked to your legal team then the act should have been rolling okay right at her neck chop block gone all right but anyway that was just my part not into uh this latest article going back to the article it says she would no longer be a cast member of the real housewives of salt lake city the statement read we recognize we failed yes you did you failed miserably in a time that we are in the 21st century you still a lot of shit to go on bravo that's what we talking about i think everybody need to raise throughout the whole franchise for you a fan of infringing on the the proper way of doing things all the um what do you call it? Everybody except for, um, what do you call it? Uh, the white people. Okay. Everybody else on the payroll that's a different nationality, uh, 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 a minority of some sort, underpaid, you know, um, uh, individual at the Bravo camp. Everybody need a raise for insensitivity. Okay. And send so the rest of these jokers to insensitive training. Well, sensitive training, I should say. And you should be right there. You should be a student. Okay. You should be a student along with the exec. Everybody needs to be up in there. Even the legal team here. Y'all knew the shit was going on. Y'all just didn't do nothing about it. Y'all thought everything ever going to be swooped on the rug. We won't pay no attention to it. <laughs> you see how it, it, you hit it where it hurts. And that's what these individuals did. Because y'all don't like, I, I don't watch Salt Lake City. I very well, you know, can keep up with my folks here in Atlanta. All right. The Real Housewives of Atlanta Housewives. I, you know, because they, they be on, you, you have to keep, you got to put skates on with them. Because you don't never know. You think you're going to bed and everything's cool in the camp. Next day you woke up, Portia don't hit somebody. <laughs> can you don't lie on somebody. Okay. Or she going she gonna to dramatize a lie. Or, or she don't got married again <laughs> under uh, mysterious circumstances. And I'm sitting there making it over there. <laughs> well, she ain't with us no more. But I heard Mike was over there talking about their marriage kind of rocking. I like. I need a little bit more proof. I need a little bit more proof. But we tried to tell Cinder, uh, Cynthia about that ego. We tried to tell her about that ego. But she wanted to marry him. She gone. She, she fend for herself. Okay. But it's just, a, you know, 
Well, that's why I just keep me busy. It's not one day that something don't go on here with these housewives that you got to be reporting on, okay? But it keeps them relevant. It keeps, uh, whether it's a good press, uh, good press or bad press, it's still all press. It's keeping their name out there in them streets for people to be checking for them, okay? But anyway, um, Bravo is saying, you know, uh, she's no longer a cast member of the franchise. We recognize we failed to take appropriate actions once her offense social media posts were brought to our attention okay bravo concluded moving forward we will work to improve our process to ensure we make better informed and more thoughtful casting decisions when did not immediately respond to people requests for comment of course you did she was in black and white would you uh-uh i had on the nearest rock and won't resurface to a couple of years okay and see what my options are <laughs> oh but from um Okay, let me see what else it says. Wynn has been facing backlash for old racial insensitive posts from her deactivated Facebook page. The resurfaced posts were critical of the Black Lives Matter movement and the subsequent protests that occurred after the controversial death of George Floyd. Okay, um, new or uh, when previously issued an apology on Instagram saying she wanted to acknowledge the situation. I thought I was speaking out against violence. I have since learned how offensive and hurtful my words were. The reality the star wrote, it's why I deactivated that account more than a year ago. And I continue to try to learn and about perspectives different from my own. I regret those posts and I am sincerely sorry for the pain they caused. No, when, no, Jenny, you sorry you got caught, baby. Because that your whole Facebook account would have still been rolling on. Rolling on. Because if you had a, a, a brain fart. Or a, a misalignment on what you thought what you were posting was okay. You had friends. Okay. You had friends that were following you. And probably checked you off of social media and told you. Girl. Why did you post that? Don't you know that is racially insensitive? Girl. Take that post down. Before your career be in jeopardy. You know what I'm saying? I know you had some good, 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 good girlfriends. Or good, good, good boyfriends. Or family members. Hell. That could have told you. This ain't right, girl. Know your role. You ain't God himself. You, you, girl, you are not above reproach or criticism. Telling you, take accountability. Take that shit down. But she did. Because she thought she was She thought she was a Karen out there. She thought she had white privilege on her side. And <laughs> look at the ties done rolled in. And now you jobless, baby. So what are you going to do? Go work on a soap opera or something? Because that's my idea for Portia. She done made a uh, mess of her uh, business career, too. I think she need to go work for the soap opera world for a while. At least about five, four, about four or five years get established over there playing the villain. So when she come back to regular mainstream, well, you know, soap operas are mainstream as well. But I'm just saying to this type of form that she's used to reality shows and stuff. Then she may have made amends with us because we saw her doing her thing somewhere else where it was more appropriate. Because, you know, when you on soap opera world, you can lie, cheat, steal, whatever. And you could come out smelling like a rose. Cause you could say, that's my character. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's not who I am in real life. I wouldn't dare do any of those things. Because we would not think that those people that get down in the soap opera world. Like bold and the beautiful. Young and the restless. All my children. Hey, I think days of life still ain't on. General Hospital. We don't think these people act like that. Unless they plan in a goody two shoes role. And if they plan that role. Then it's kind of fair minded. Plausible to say they probably bad as hell in, 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 in the real world. You know what I'm saying? Cause you're all you kind of have those auto egos going on, but child, I was like, Lord, this lady got caught with the, the stuff she sit up there and put out on herself. That's 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 piss poor. If you're gonna be undercover racist, do it undercover and do it clever, more clever than what she was doing. Okay, but she's a Vietnamese person, honey. Vietnamese, and she's trying to call herself white. Oh, I can't take it. Oh, but anyway, um, uh, let me see. She goes on to say, I thought I was speaking out against violence, but I have since learned how offensive. Okay, we got that. Got she did activate it. Okay, okay. I regret those posts and sincerely sorry for the pains that they caused. Nope, you got sorry because you got caught, baby. That's all it was. If you, if you didn't get caught, then nobody called you on your shit. You would still be doing, putting out the same mess, okay? You acting like a carrot now. Do your due diligence. Own up to what you did. Apologize. For what you said and keep it moving. Don't go into all this real this realization that you don't found out. Ooh, it was wrong. Who told you it was wrong? Cause you you didn't think it was wrong when you posted it. So who got on your ass? Was it Bravo and they was taking your check? 
okay your check that you have to work for six months out the year and then you can sit down and do whatever you want to do or you might have to do some promos and stuff of that nature but you had a very cushiony job to get up here and act like an actress half the time maybe some of your true feelings will come out on screen depending on how they push you what scenario you're in at the time but girl anyway moving on from her uh but going back to the article it says i i am deeply offended by the racially insensitive posts and comments uh Sha 48 wrote on instagram it was infuriating to see her like and repost comments that made a mockery of and showed complete apathy towards those killing marching to bring awareness to the deep-seated social uh justice issues that plague our country i don't know if that shawl is that shawl like shawls uh what the name of damn i can't think of that picture the shawl okay well anyway i don't, I don't know who the shawl is but anyway it says um she was also equally disappointed by the d disingenuous apology that we posted needless to say we have some real shit to talk about she added the entire uh, cast have since unfollowed, unfollowed when on Instagram. Okay. Because of the controversy surrounding when franchise producer Andy Cohen revealed there are many serious discussions happening right now and that it will be addressed very soon. People were very upset about the lack of discussion on last night's episode relating to Jenny's disgusting and upsetting posts and i've also seen all the tweets wanting to know what's being done about those posts the 53 year old said on cyrus xm's radio andy on monday i just want to say in case anyone doesn't realize it that there are many serious discussions happening right now about everything and everything okay coin added i can't address the situation right now but it will be addressed very soon and thank you for your patience and the posts were very upset upsetting rightfully and disgusting uh when joined the cast in the show's second season which premiered last september on a recent episode of the bravo hit when called out cosby for stating she loved it her slanted eyes okay mm. well i mean all all discretion for the negative is bad when you're profiling a particular race and the stereotypes that they put on a set group of people uh just because you know so uh just like they you know caucasian people thought up the word nigger you know we, we, you know <laughs> Woo! okay but um it depends on how you spend the word in our culture where it's not so offensive when it's our people that's using it so should it be used no do we use it yes okay but it's just one of those yin for yangs tip for tat type of things we weren't giving it but we were giving it we rolled with it and we turned it into something loving uh when it comes to our own people sharing that word because it's not the er it's the ego you see what i'm saying don't make sense i'm sure if you're not a part of the race but this is what it is it's one of those things but i am so glad that we got um miss win unemployed before because of her ideologies of what she feels a certain race uh should be seen as and treated as um uh, i ain't gonna say bravo uh to bravo for uh resolving this issue because y'all should have been up on it doggone it but it just is what it is it came to fruition you dealt with it uh swift and professionally and that's all we can say is just stop making excuses for poor decision making of others especially when it affects the brand and the viewers of the show you know what i'm saying give us entertainment but don't give us racist shit we feel, we, we we have that we have to fool with every day okay we don't want the racial profile we don't want anything dealing with race uh conflicts and stuff of that nature that's real life okay we don't want real life we want drama filled situation scenarios and we just leave it on the field when we clock out or we cl um y'all cut the scenes and stuff just leave it right there and we pick it back up you know whenever we get back to filming and whatnot but y'all i'm so glad somebody got their ex those uh, vicious slanderous type posts 
so we can send Judy Wynn on out that door. Yes, can I get an amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will see you next time for the next video. Don't know what I'm going to come with, but I'm going to come with some more. Some for the ha ha, some for the kiki, but just check on me when you get time y'all all right gotta go y'all just thought i'd give y'all that little spill <laughs> and i will see y'all next time bye bye